946 time now to imagine it on this lovely Saturday morning and the lovely and talented Carl Nelson is here with the imagination station. Uh, what, what, what's with the orange juice? Well, last day of summer. Right? Okay. So my mind immediately leaps to Halloween. Okay, sure. So yeah. Down at the Science Center, the whole month of October, we do something called Spooky Science. Mm -hmm. So I brought with me a little magic potion uh, demonstration should to show I, you. Should today. I touch this? You can touch it. In okay. fact, what I want you to do is take both of these, okay. and you're going to combine both of the orange liquids together. But bef when you're doing that, I want you to think really hard in your head about the colors <laughs> of Halloween. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so just go ahead right. and pour it into one. Just dump the whole thing right okay, in. I'm thinking, All one I'm big. concentrating hard. This is the magic right. trick. Uh, what is it looking like? You're thinking, right? Mm -hmm. You're thinking. You're uh -huh. thinking very so hard. Thinking, um, I'm worried, Tony. I'm not, think I'm not sure you're thinking here. I don't have much mental capacity. <laughs> there well. you go. There you go. That is right. bizarre. That's right. so is bizarre. Is that not cool? That is. So, okay, so what this is, this is not uh, magic. This is chemistry. And it's the chemistry of what's called clock reactions. So I'm going to give you those two beakers. We're going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you why it's called the clock reaction. So what I want you to do at the same time, we're both going to mix our beakers together and then give the one with the liquid a little swirl. Okay, the one with the clear? Doesn't matter. Yeah. You, you pour however you want. Okay. Let's go right to left. So, How about that? Gotcha. All right. All right. So here we are. Three, two, one. Pour them in. Just dump the whole thing in. Give it a little swirl. And it's called the clock reaction because what we can do is by varying the components that are in the mixture, we can allow that visual change to happen at a different time. You can sort of dial in the time. Whoa. So mine should happen in a couple more seconds because I changed that concentration. Oh. All right. How about that? Now, there's actually, when you mix the two things together, it looks like nothing is happening. Yeah. But really, there's a complex set of reactions that are happening. Only one of them will change that color black. We've got some iodine, we've got some starch. Got something in between that's stopping the iodine from reacting what with the starch. What is stopping the iodine? Sodium metabisulfite. Oh, so well, sure. It, it, you know, it's, <laughs> don't worry about that. But what is really cool about this, because it changes really quickly, yeah. right? It's like a, this, it's almost like a CGI effect of some sort. Sure, I was thinking so, uh, Marvin Maroon's disappearing, reappearing ink. Here's what, okay, <laughs> we're gonna try this a little bit differently. This is gonna be really cool, really dramatic. Same thing, go ahead and pick these up. Okay. You're gonna pour into one, and then you're gonna pour back into the other. Okay. Really slowly over about a foot. Oh, all right. Uh, well, let me do so it in this direction it, first. Then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. go ahead and dump it into Start the other real one. Real slowly. Really slowly. And we watch could the stream. Watch the stream, exactly. Because the reaction's happening up here, it's happening in the middle, and it's happening down below. And so if we time this just... Oh, there oh that is so weird. Is that not nice? If you time it just right, let's try it one more time in case you missed it. Um, if you time it just right, or if you count backwards from maybe 13, Lucky number 12, 13. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Zam. Oh, we were way off. That's okay. <laughs> but what's cool is it happens all the way from the top, the stream, and to the bottom because that reaction is happening within the liquid. It's the visual part that we can't see happening. Right. That now, is spooky. If you want to try this at home, yes. check out our website. Look for clock reaction. Okay. Search for clock reaction. There's a completely safe way you can do it at home with stuff you have in the uh, kitchen cabinet. Will do. And prepare for spooky science because it starts at the beginning of October. In October, yes. Now we are closed. We open on the 24th, this coming Tuesday. Oh, okay. We're painting and cleaning, repairing stuff. So come down on the 24th, check us out, and then hold your breath for uh, spooky science. <laughs> Carl Nelson, always spooky. Thanks very much for coming down from the Imagination Station. That's this week's Imagine It. And we have a quick note before we go to sports. We want to remind you, you can catch the University of Toledo Rockets take on the Central Michigan Chippewa right here on 13 ABC. The kickoff is at noon today. How about that for cool. a clockwork orange? All right, <laughs> let's have more with Dave in sports.